Hey, 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 what is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. So today we will be rehousing a few of these particular specimens as you can see inside these smaller uh, containers as well as we're gonna be going through having ha we're gonna be having a quick uh, brief uh, walkthrough of some new specimens that have been added into the inverts paradise collection so we got a few here two three specimens in particular one two three which are new and we'll be rehousing a few of the scorpions that have that are basically in need of a rehousing so without further ado let's get on with the video this is the androctonus australis this is the typical form the most common uh, yellow fat tail there is around in the hobby so as you can see the whole enclosure is plain nothing just sand and look at the condition of the Australis specimen so thin so we will also be rehousing these specimens into much more comfortable enclosures so let's have a let's do the quick walkthrough first so yeah this is the androctonus Australis next up we have a bit of a similar condition for the next specimen this is the androctonus Australis hectoform as you can see from the black uh, black paddy pop coloration it is completely different from the usual androctonus australis but yeah it's been kept inside the same enclosure as you can see plain sand nothing much going on here it's just dull so we'll also be rehousing this specimen and the last uh, specimen that uh, we are going to be reviewing today it is the Lesiodora difficilis so this is a suspect male I have a friend who actually owns a rather sizable female so hopefully by the time both mature out they both mature out at almost the same time or the female matures out first so that you know there's some time for the male to mature out into a matured male so yeah, we'll also be rehousing this difficilis specimen. So let's see how it goes, eh? Awesome. And in terms of the rehousing, we will be rehousing this Parabutas Schlotheri. This is the first Schlotheri we're gonna be rehousing. And a second Parabutas Schlotheri. And last but not least, the star of all the sling feeding videos will be rehousing this Androctonus Mauritanicus. Decently sized, and it's about time we transferred it to a new enclosure. So, first up, we will be rehousing the recently acquired specimen. So, let's get on with this video. All right, let's see if we can get this specimen into a catch cup. And it's, it's, it's halfway climbing more. Come on. Oh, no. Okay. You're still trying to climb the same place. Before I find the footing, and we rehoused it. Boop. There you go. Enjoy your new enclosure, buddy. And 
and right up next we'll be rehousing this androctinus australis oh this guy definitely is gonna need a bit of fattening up to do but let's do this rehousing time Oh, it's time to cup this little bugger. Let's see how hard this is gonna be. That was significantly easier than I thought. Okay. What? Since your prior enclosure did have a bit of color in terms of the sand, so I'm just gonna add in a bit of your sand inside, buddy. Add a little bit more character to your enclosure. Beautiful. There we go. Next up, we'll be rehousing the Lessidora difficilis. Let's see how it goes. Alright, beautiful. Let's now rehouse the tea. I know it's gonna start kicking here, so please come out. No, yes, that way. Without kicking any hairs, please, please. No, 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 no. Go into your enclosure. Add a specimen. And now it's time to rehouse our overgrown scorplings. So the first to rehouse is the Androctinus maratonicus. There we go. Now because this particular specimen thing previous enclosure has some nice uh what is this? Uh 
sand and soil so I'll be using reusing a bit of it And next up, we will be handling the Parabutas Shalatheri for both the specimens. So let's get on with it. Alright, so I managed to separate the, the specimen out earlier, so let's just plop it in. And we're done! Easy as pie! And the last specimen to rehouse, finally, it is the last Parabuta Schlatheri. So let's get on with it! Alright, with the enclosure done, let's rehouse this specimen. Of course, a rehousing video is never complete without an uncooperative specimen. There we go. Finally. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the video. You guys know the drill. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Really helps us, helps this channel out with the YouTube algorithm. If there are any new viewers to the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell for any future uploads for future videos. We will be planning out... Uh, Species review videos, rehousing videos, feeding videos, and you know, basic husbandry uh, videos for the scorpions, tarantulas, invertebrates in general. So, you guys know the drill hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And for those who are veteran scorpion keepers or tarantula keepers, if you guys have any tips on tarantula scorpion husbandry, do comment down below any advice for future rehousings of future specimens would actually be of great value to me so don't be shy to other people as well to those who are new to the channel just comment something down below we can start a constructive dialogue uh, in the comments and hopefully you know things go well from there so with that, Inverts Paradise would like to say thank you for watching, 
Inverts Paradise. Out.